that he wrote the first poem for the first book, which was called Life, the life which had, um, and the, that was part of the three stages of the life of Buddha for World Peace Day that I did, that taught, that taught the country too. These are smaller ones um, in regard to man's emotions within his collective group, actually, the way he interacts with each other. And so the poems are about, you know, how we sort of feel about our fellow man. So they're all to do with circle of life, emotions. This one here is actually really fascinating. I call it Gaia's Golden Seams, but he actually interpreted it. It's where the working apart is quite interesting, because he saw that image and inter interpreted that as the frail prof prophet. And he talks about, um, um, Gaia being a woman enclosing us as in, in in her arms as if these were actually enclosing arms of gentleness and it's really wonderful how he talks about Gaia protecting us and so we should protect Gaia and I thought that was an amazing interpretation of um, me calling it Gaia's golden seams and him calling it the frail prophet I love that pic that one about the frail prophet she says, she will go on without us. We are seven billion and she is one, but oh, such a one. I just think that's just amazing. She is. This was the last poem he wrote at the end of the collection of poems for the book. And this is my book, uh, my image called Going With The Flow. And so he talks about coming back to the baseline of what we need to do as a collective, as man, going back to basics, but more to, to think collectively. And mine, Going With The Flow, is very much of how we need to, to move forward, to, um, to interact with each other and link up. So these are figures and birds moving with nature so it's called going with the flow which is very and this one here is called following the trail again birds and humans just look working in this collective as they the vibration works together so the names and the images are very important and it links in with that last poem this one's called Ancient Memories, and it's really about uh, the beginning of time, and that I depicted cogs like clocks, but they're like sort of universal clocks, clonking in and moving of the planet. It also links in with the new alignment of the planets, which again is part of this 2012 shift. He's, um, he's got an, a poem here called Ancient Memories, which directly links with the poem, but is also put in decays for humans. And there's a lovely line where he talks about concrete left behind is slowly impregnated with the stuff of life. Nothing decays. Decay was for humans. And I thought that it looked, the picture looks like um, life coming through concrete. So he saw, again by email, he saw that image and wrote decay was for humans. Um, so that's again where the, we, us not living near each other, working from a distance, we just see so many different things in each other's work. It's a very exciting way to work. I mean, that was relevant. I know you've stopped now. Oh, yeah, then no, I'm okay. Now. Okay. Yeah. That was relevant to mention. You know, his in seeing that image, that it was um, life coming through concrete. To me, that is so amazing. The way he looks at stuff, and the words that come out when he, he's writing his poems. And that was definitely the image. Him writing the poem after the image. Sometimes, as I said to Julie, the image comes from the poem. Sometimes the poem comes from the image. Uh, this is. Um, collection um, called 2012 Alignment. So that actually, the date is very much within the keeping of the exhibition title of where we're we going, fitting into 2012. And so um, he put, he wrote The Eye of the World, which is uh, the one at the bottom, which I call The Eye of the World, which to me is um, energies, you could say, um, 
forces outside Earth looking down on us to see what we are doing with Gaia and how we're working with this amazing planet. And there's a lovely line which she says, they, they, they're looking at us, they are looking and we're not, um, we are wanting in how we are faring. And I thought that again, like a big eye looking down on man and how she is uh, dealing with the planet um, and not doing a very good job. And I felt that really did work well with the eye of the world and the image. The eye of the world at the bottom, um, the eye is um, depicted as um, external forces looking down on us, looking at Gaia, and seeing the combination of how humans work with Gaia. And as the one of the lines says, we do not fa we're not faring very well as the keepers of Gaia and we need to look after her and she'll look after us. So the relationship between Earth and humans is at the moment very fractured. And so that eye, which I've depicted that, to me is like the external universal eye looking down on us. The middle one is 2012 Alignment, that's the title. And that really, the way I depicted that was the movement of the planets um, in kind of, again, the, the theme of clock, time, because um, time is a very strange concept. And so you can talk about ancient time, you can talk about now time, you can talk about future time. And they're like clocks interlocking. And with the new alignment of the planets, which again was the very fortuitous time of 2012, uh, which more of people have read about, that again is the way I depicted 2012 alignment, the moving of time. This one's called The New Shining, and um, I was it was a poem that I actually knew of Steve Thoughts from, from one of his other books. And I said, we must have, I have an image that I want to create for the new shine. We must put it into this collection. And the new shining is a very upbeat poem. It's a very positive poem about how we are going to overcome this, um, this spiral down that we are in at the moment of all consuming humans and not faring very well with their relationship with the planets. And this poem is a very positive t take on that there will be a new shining, and the new shining is that we will get it right. We will make the right choices. We will actually turn it all around. And it's, been, it's moved a lot of people, this poem, the new shining, the image. It can be, I mean, a, a lady bought one um, at one of the other exhibitions because it was a start of a new way. She was moving um, to start a new life. And to her, it was the new shining was a new, new life. And I thought that's a lovely way to put it. The new shine is, is the new start. And the poem reflects that. Okay. Went off a bit track now. Okay. This is called A New Shining by Steve Thorpe. A blazing light filled glory, a day that fades, a night that speaks, shines only in response to a silver question. Black cloth splattered with starlight, street lamp give way to moonshine, and I drink my fill of it, whispering its echoes before it dies at dawn. As the backwash sky awakens, I hear the beat of morning beneath engine drones, cough and clanker, pulse of the earth, heart of hill and coastline, crumbling into a forgiving ocean, sparkling, dancing light, and a new shining and um, weather based but it's not only about it's also about emotions you know about the start of new and it's a very important one it's probably the most important one of the whole thing or did you get sugar um this this is called the fixing of if you just start off with the fixing rather than this is called because we can see what it is oh okay. sorry okay um, the fixing of things. This was the first image 
of, of the first collection, of this first collection and the first poem. Um, again, it was a Steve, this is how the whole thing came together. Um, I knew of the Fixing of Things poem by Steve Thorpe and loved it and wanted to create this image of Gaia being split and joined together. Um, and I joined together with actual horsehair stitches but the fact that we need to mend Gaia and his poem talks about the fixing of earth, the fixing of things, but if we don't fix it right we can make a more of a mess of it than we already are. So the image is quite fractured and broken but it actually also comes together as a whole and I think it's a very powerful image and it was the one on the front of the book, it is the one on the front of the book and there's the front on the posters to do with the exhibition that's been touring the country. Can you just say that, that this is the strong this is the strongest image? Okay. okay. This is the strongest image and it is the name of the booklet that accompanies the exhibition and it's called The Fixing of Things. you create the printing plate, but you can, each one that you hand, list, hand load and pull off, it can be of a different color. So number two is black, but number one was blue. Um, so that's just interesting, it's again the alignments. And the top one is called where there's a, there's a storm coming, and that's the man's emotions of the, the back and thrust of all man's feelings towards each other, to himself, the inner turmoil, it's a journey of life and so that's the, the, the flow of all those images, all those shapes, is how I saw there's a storm coming. The way the, the poets formed it was there is a storm coming and we need to get our act together. So it was quite interesting how we both interpreted that differently. It's interesting to me to look at them again and talk about them because I then get all emotionally linked to them. I think, yeah, I love this one. I remember doing this one and because, you know, they're, obviously to get a collection together like this, it didn't all happen on one day. They've been built up, they this, went from sketch form. This and space actually is interesting, isn't it? Because it's a bit, in the quiet of the night, it's a bit chapel-like, I think. Yes. And in the busyness of a normal open day, it's like mad, all those kids and mums. The orangeness of the lights before, which is hopeless. Do you remember that thing that used to hang down from here, Mike? Used to hang from yeah, really cool. And then the light would shine onto the, these globes, and then you'd get the globe shadow on the work. Because they look a lovely idea, that gold inside, don't you think? Oh, how lovely when they designed the space. Well, they, you wanted, know? They, they wanted a mix of intimacy showcase for art. And yeah. And, uh, I think it's a lovely space. Yeah. But it's so much better with a different light. Really. Yeah. And when I came to look at it, I thought the exhibition would go, I don't know who, who that was. So, you know, it convinced me that I thought, yeah, I'm yeah. just going to yeah. put it here. Yeah. And, uh, 